What's up, VC? Jimmy here. How's it going? Uh, long time no see. I've got uh, quite a few things to show you. I want to try to keep this under 20 minutes uh, so I don't have to separate the, uh, the videos into part one and part two. So um, just about everything I'm going to show you is stuff that I picked up uh, at local record shops. Uh, took a trip out to Ohio to see my son and my new granddaughter. Uh, and his fiance, and actually visited a few shops out there as well. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is what's playing in the background, uh, Lifeguards. And the name of the album is uh, Waving at the Astronauts. And this is actually Robert Pollard and, um, take this off here, and Doug Gillard. Get a better look at it. And there was 500 of these pressed. So I was pretty uh, happy to find one of these. Uh, and that's the, the inside there. Pretty good stuff. Um, a lot of people believe that uh, this was Lifeguard's best album. I actually like the one prior, the one they did like 10 years prior. Um, I think it was like 10 years prior. But um, this is the, the, the last one that uh, Gillard and Pollard did together. Um, the one prior, I. I don't know, it was on purple vinyl. I actually like it a little better, but most uh, GBV fans would disagree with me. Uh, next is something I picked up on Discogs, and that is East River Pipe Mel from 1996. And this is FM Corn Dogs, um, basically alter ego. Uh, really cool, it's lo fi bedroom indie pop. So if you're into that sort of thing, you'll like. Uh, You'll like East River Pipe. And he was actually uh, living on the street, panhandling for a while and, you know, playing guitar and, uh, and kind of got noticed that way uh, by uh, a woman who was involved with a record label. And I think he ended up marrying this woman and she discovered him and, and the rest is history. The next uh, find was uh, something I picked up uh, recently. Uh, the band is Gentle Giant. Um, this is uh, The Power and the Glory. It's a concept album from 1974. And this is pretty much straight ahead prog rock, but it it's, uh, definitely has structure, so it's not what you think. It's not the annoying type of prog rock. Um, this is actually one of their better albums. It looks like, like, a, like a card, like a playing card. It's got the rounded off die cut edges. Um, so this is pretty, pretty interesting album. So pretty happy to have this. Uh, and able to find that out in the wild for a, a decent price. Next up, uh, I just got this uh, over at Newberry Comics. This is Ty Siegel's, uh, my favorite one from Ty, uh, called Melted, and this is the, uh, the, um, the, the release on orange vinyl. And there's the back. Great uh, garage pop, garage rock, if you like that. Uh, the next find, I was really excited uh, to get one of these. Uh, this is My Bloody Valentine, and this co this cover is fantastic. This is um, an EP they released pre uh, Isn't Anything, and it's awesome. Um, it has uh, some alternative tracks, alternate tracks from that album. Um, you Made Me Realize is the name of this EP, and it has that song on it. Also, Slow, Thorn, Cigarette in Your Bed, and Drive It All Over Me. Really, really great EP by My Bloody Valentine and an equally great cover. Next find is a original pressing of Travis, The Man Who. And uh, this is probably my favorite Travis album. This is a double album actually um, because there's a, a bonus 12 inch uh, with some, some um, uh, remixes of, um, I think, Writing to Reach You. But this is definitely my favorite Travis album, if you're into that sort of thing. Pills first issue, public image. This is the UK press. It's got a tag up there from the UK in pristine condition. Really happy to find this. This one here I found in the, at a Newberry Comics. Um, this was cool to find. It's called um, ah, We Cool by Jeff Rosenstock. Um, he's from Bomb the Music Industry. Uh, he was the lead singer for that band. 
This is definitely my favorite Rosenstock album, um, although Worry is excellent too. I also have that, uh, which I'll show another time. This one here is on a really cool purple and white marbled Starburst vinyl, which I'll show you. Uh, so it was really neat to find this first press out in the wild. Um, only a thousand of these were made uh, in this variant. Really my favorite colors right there. I love that lavender color. Um, and if you like uh, if you like Weezer, you're gonna love this album. Um, it, it sounds like Weezer in a lot of ways. A lot of uh, Weezer-esque chords going on throughout this album. So um, this is uh, definitely highly recommended if you're a Weezer fan. Check out Jeff Rosenstock. All uh, right, uh, next is a, an original press um, from uh, the UK by the Pixies, Trump Le Monde. There it is. What a great album this is. Skip over those two. Uh, here's an interesting one. Um, I found this out in the wild. This is a DJ copy uh, promo uh, white label, um, and the band is called Sand. And this is actually a different um, sand than the sand I showed you in the last video. Um, that sand was from, I believe, Germany. This one here is um, an American band, and it's like alternative country, kind of Wilco-esque. Uh, if you like Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, you would love Sand especially this album. This was released in 1973. And it's a, uh, it's released on two LPs, but what's funky about this is um, they're single-sided LPs because what they wanted to do, see, you can see it's kind of clear on this side. What the band wanted to do was they wanted you to put both albums down on the record changer, which is what they had back then, so it would play all the way through. So you didn't have to switch the sides over. Um, really not a great idea if you ask me. Just put it on one LP. But that's sand. Uh, next up is a, uh, a cool find. This is a Holland press of Beggar's Banquet by the Rolling Stones. This is um, a Holland press and it's gem mint. That's the only reason why I got it. Typically, I like to get first presses. This is actually like a, a press from like 1973 on DECA. But um, it's out of Holland and it was so gem mint. Uh, I had to get it and the price was right. I think I paid $20 for it. Um, so I had to grab it. It's one of my wife's favorite Rolling Stones albums. So um, I really got it more for her than myself. So there you go. All right, the next one is um, Weezer Pinkerton, first press, European version. As you can see there by the barcode, you can tell it's European there. And next is um, a first press of Yes's best album, Close to the Edge. This is definitely Yes's best album in my mind. I like Fragile too. I like. Basically, the period um, from uh, the Yes album through this one is my favorite period for Yes. And this is in very uh, VG plus condition, so I had to get it. It was in, a good sh it was in good shape. And next is um, The Temples. And uh, Sun Structures is the name of the album. If you like um, retro, this is a new band, but if you like retro, um, you know, sounding 60s, late 60s music like the Birds, uh, the Beatles and the Beach Boys and the Hollies and all that stuff, um, you will love the Temples, especially this LP um, called Sun Structures. And what's special about this one is, um, this is not your standard black press. Uh, this is the very rare pink version they only made, I believe, 400 of these. So this one's kind of hard to find. So I was really happy to, to snag that. And 
And next up is David Bowie. This is the second UK press. This is the second UK press. This is not a first press. It's not the laminated cover, but it is the second press and I got a pretty good deal on it, so I had to grab it. Um, the record itself is in VG plus shape, close to near mint minus, so I was pretty happy um, with the condition, so I had to grab that. And next up is some cool ones. Nirvana bleach and what's special about this is this is the second press on black vinyl This is the second US press on black vinyl sub pop records um, This is uh, this has the uh, the correct dead wax information um, The only thing it's missing is a little bummed out the posters missing um, but uh, I got such a good price on it I had to grab it and it's in really great shape the vinyl itself is in mint condition Next up um, is uh, like a like a trifecta of great albums. We'll start by showing you my favorite by the band Wire. This is called Chairs Missing, and actually the song in the background I think it's called Sexless, Sexless Audio, or maybe Product Head Product Head by Lifeguards reminds me of Wire like 100%. I mean we all know Robert Pollard. Loves Wire, but listening to that song there, Product Head, got Product Head, I think it is, and then, and, and then Wire, it's the same thing. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Wire's a great band. This is a first UK, uh, first UK press in near mint condition, so I was really happy to get this. And then my second favorite Wire album. Um, I apologize if I've shown this one already, but this is 154. I have a UK press and this is the US press. This is the first US press and I also have a first UK press. And then last but not least for wire that I want to show you is the first US press pink flag. And you'll know it's the US press because it has the, the warning label on the front. The UK press does not have this. And this is also in great shape. Next up, my favorite Tom, my actually the only Tom Waits album I like, and I know I'm going to piss some people off at BC, but I didn't. I don't like his vocals. Um, I do like his vocals on this album, though. And this is his first one, Closing Time. This is a second press. Closing Time. Great album. I mean, the Eagles covered a track off this called Old 55. Um, there's so many classic tracks. I like almost every track on this. But then, you know, his later albums, his voice is just hacked. I think he smoked too many cigarettes. My opinion. Next up is something you're probably wondering, oh, why are you showing me that? Everyone has that. But what's unique about this CLO album is it's sealed. So I was happy to find a nice sealed copy of, of one of my favorites from ELO, A New World Record. Here's a great band. If you like uh, Guided by Voices, you'll know Matt Sweeney um, started this band up called Chavez. Um, these two are represses. Um, I have the first presses on, on, of both on Matador, um, but these are the uh, represses that I usually play. I don't usually play the first presses of this one, um, and uh, but they're both great. Uh, this is the first one here, Ri um, Ride the Fader, and then the second one, um, uh, Gone Glimmering. So, I'm sorry, did I do that backwards? Yes. Gone Glimmering's his first one, I apologize. And then the second one by Chavez is Ride the Fader, which is actually my favorite one. This one's awesome. They're both great, but this one's the best. And by the way, if you like GBB, um, G uh, Got It By Voices, GBB, you will love Chavez. Another cool pickup was... Uh, one of my favorite albums of the year, released um, on, in 2013 on Fat Possum. This is Youth Lagoon, Wondrous Bug House. And man, is this incredible. It sounds, uh, the dude who, um, who uh, produced